And if I throw this in your tank, it'll seize you up for good. Wait, so sugar is the big kryptonite in this world? Well, why doesn't he just carry a packet of Splendor around all the time then? Or help! If the magic dust is so magical, can't he just bring a normal-sized person into the world? There'll be a giant there! So, where's Dad? Think, people! Think! My family never really told me what to do in a gold dust crisis. They only said if you can't remember the clue, the windmill will remind you. But where is the windmill? So he tries to figure out his sparkle impotency, but thankfully, hope comes in the form of Haley Joe Osmond in a wig. I don't suppose you know where track three is, do you? Is it that one? Well, why not? What the hell could go wrong? Just getting on a train that could go anywhere that I was advised by a dog to board. It's not like it could lead to another crazy Alec Baldwin breakdown. I notice you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Plane. Drain. Mountain. Fountain. That might be something. I think I'll try the celery. No, you need to try the antipsychotics, honey. Sausage. Bicycle. <laughs> Toothpaste. Beach. <laughs> Beach. Beach. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that scene was about. I am now totally convinced that Alec Baldwin went nuts and they just shot a movie around it. Hell, maybe it was supposed to be about a grandfather, his granddaughter, and a train. But Baldwin just started shouting gold dust and sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! And they had to make a kid's movie out of it. This is sadly starting to make sense. Now he's talking to flowers. It's all good. In this world, a mental breakdown is totally understandable. But not always acceptable. Just look at how he reacted when Percy came in late. I'm gonna let you know just how disappointed in you I am and how angry I am with you that you've done this to me again. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig. And I'm gonna straighten your ass out. Don't piss off, Mr. Conductor. So Mara comes across Mr. Conductor's son named Junior. And in answer to your question, I have no idea why he's Scottish. But really, if that's the biggest concern in this movie, you're in a good place. Hey, huh? Who are you? I'm Lily. Who are you? See you, Junior. I'm totally stoned, so none of this surprises me. See you, Lily. Well, that was pointless. So she's picked up and driven to her grandpa's place, where they form an immediate connection by him poking the fireplace and her going straight to sleep. It's the human bonding that makes this film work, folks. But Diesel finds Mr. Conductor and threatens to throw him off a bridge. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Normally I'd say that's by accident, but it's Alec Baldwin. He knew what he was doing. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> Did you put all this here for me? But you must have known that I was coming. How kind of you. Am I Alec Baldwin's delusion? Is this all Alec Baldwin's delusion? And for that matter, is this the so-called help the audience was supposed to give that was mentioned earlier? Come on, even Care Bears was more interactive than that! They at least asked you to do something! Any movie can just show something being done and claim that you did that. You did that. You. You did that. You. You did that. You. Did that. you. For shame. This must be the clue to unlock the source of the gold dust. Stoke up the magic in the mountain and the lady will smile. Uh, are you sure that's not toke up the magic? Because I think a lot of that was going on while this movie was made. Good morning, Mr. Stone. I'm riding into Shining Time. Could Lily come with me if she'd like to? I'd like to. Yeah, by the way, something else to keep in mind in this movie is that Mara Wilson never keeps her lip closed. It hangs out like in every single scene. I'd like to. 
<laughs> sure. She can go. Well, lady, what are we to do? It all seems so much easier when Tasha and I were children. <sighs> it's Thomas the fucking tank engine! Every time you appear on screen, you make me want to slit my wrist! Don't ever host a birthday party! Come on, kids. Let's go hit the piñata. The piñata is dead and you killed him. But Mara comes across Junior again and she convinces him to take her with him to Sodor. Can we be back here by sunset? I hope so. Yeah, probably she'll wait for them to meet at this moment as opposed to earlier. Just would have saved time. So he shrinks her down to his size and you'll never guess who they come across. Thomas! Yeah, remember? He's in this damn thing too! He goes ahead and takes them to Mr. Conductor, who's still trying to figure out the clue he was given. Hey, cuz. You're looking terrible. Wait, are they father and son or cousins? He calls him Junior, yet he's constantly saying cuz. Junior, I want you to listen to me, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. This is his cousin. Maybe they're both. If the Mario Brothers can be father and son, anything's fucking possible! So they figure out they can't travel through worlds without gold dust, but somehow trains can still travel, okay? But there's some kind of magic that makes Lady work, but they don't know what it is. But it might have something to do with this coal that they found in the tunnelway in between worlds, which will allow Lady to make gold dust as she rides, and when did this plot become the kids' version of Memento? Yeah, it gets really needlessly complicated, especially for a film that's meant to be so simple. But I guess the coal they find does get Lady working, and they ride her off again. Well, my lady, the lights are all green for you now. Well, take some Prozac. But they come across the evil Diesel, and they have to outrun him. <laughs> ah! Nope, oh, he just sobered up and realized the movie he was in. She's part of the clue to the source of the gold dust! Now I'll get you, Burnett Stone! No, you won't, because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. You know what? Go back to being depressed. I think I like it better that way. But they come across an unstable bridge where Diesel meets his end. Prepare to meet Amtrak in hell! So he's saved by a boat, but they do figure out that the shavings from Lady mixed with water from the well makes gold dust. Whoopity hoopity. And so we've come to the happy end of our story. And it's time for all of us to go home. Just like Thomas. Oh yeah! There was a Thomas in this movie, wasn't there? I almost forgot! I mean, jeez, between all the subplots, confusing stories, needless celebrities, and horrible editing, I can't remember what the hell I just witnessed! This movie is so bizarre in its existence. Why is it here? Why did it need to be made? Why did it have these people in it? Is it supposed to increase viewership of the show? Well, I've never seen the show and I don't think I ever will either. It's an odd film with creepy trains that look soulless and the less I can remember it, the better. I mean, I can't think of one good thing that this movie gave us. Hey! Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! Oh yeah, good point. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember, so sparkle, you don't sparkle, have to- Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! Sparkle, sparkle, man! Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! sparkle. That's some shit. Every now and then, there appears a sign That points just round the bend To a place you'll find Covered in clover The magic comes over you Showing up right. Fuck yeah, Sparkle, Sparker, Sparker! <laughs> Sparker! <laughs> Sparker! Because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you.